Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some <laughs> calming New Age music. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to get back because I quit and uh, <laughs> they have something for a few just rush. Feeling <laughs> soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it. So, uh, quitting game actually quits the game. Listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. I'm guessing at this point, this is, uh, I'm gonna save it this time. Cause, uh, last time it actually quit. Okay. Why? Don't let time choose for you? I don't really understand it. Okay, we'll begin the demo again. I don't know if I, you know, waiting there would have done something, but you know. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started, and if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm going to head back downstairs. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Okay, that was funny. I kind of like it when it changes uh, as, as I'm going through it. It recognizes I've been through some of these things so many times. <laughs> Mind control facility. Okay, this time I'm going through the here again. To see what kind of changes I can make. I could also turn the machine on. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Mine's right there, by the way, in the middle. 427. I was kind of wondering which one it was, because I wanted to actually see if it something special about it. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? 
Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, so there's the number four here. It doesn't really do anything. They, by the way, the achievements are really funny in this game. It's kind of like this achievement you can never get. Uh, you get an achievement for not playing the game for five years. <laughs> uh, you gotta hold on to them. One, two, where's three? Oh, here we go. So. There's some codes over here. Um, is there is there a zero key? Look look at all these. There's so there's, there's like numbers on the wall. I wonder if that has to do with anything. Oh, here we go. Five and three. So one, two. I don't know. Three. It's good to press them all in order. I, I don't really know what they do. I mean, I'm going, I'm going through all this elaborate effort to fucking make it do something different. So, and we'll press the number five. If there's a zero button, however, it might change things because I, I, because I'm also seeing numbers on the walls. So, I don't know if that has to do with anything. Yeah, let's press five. Okay, so that's not a thing that we can do. Oh, there's a big red button. It doesn't do anything. All right, I've been dicking around with those buttons for a while, and I just I I that they're, they're numbered buttons. I I they don't appear to actually do anything. So, um, you know I. It's just like it's weird because they're all on the other sides of the room, and I can't figure out. Like nothing, nothing changes basically. It's a pointless exercise. If there was like a zero button, I'd try and type in like most of those, but I haven't found a zero button, so we'll just uh, continue here. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty his obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Or I could leave. No, I guess leaving doesn't do anything. All right. Well, let's go turn the machine on. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. 
what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Well, uh, so, I, I don't know if there's uh, any more endings. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> the end is never the end. What the No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I, th I thought I got them all, but I think there's one more because it says the end is never the end. That's what all the screens keep saying. And it's fucking creepy as hell. Uh... Okay. I'll continue, I'll see if there's something when else. Stanley came to a set of two... Okay, so I did some looking up and uh, there is an ending that uh, I didn't know about in here. Look Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Oh, this one has letters.
Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Nope. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating <laughs> properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. This looks red. Don't like it. I don't know if I can go back. Uh, can't go back. Fuck. Just going into the red room. Sorry, guys. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Yeah, let me see if I should actually do that. Okay, I'm gonna continue. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Gonna rate everything a three, because that's what I'm told to do. Oh, of course. A three. Really. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think we can do that? Yes? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. <laughs> it's slightly different. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, <laughs> the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <laughs> okay, go into the fire. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. 
Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. <laughs> this is fucking great. <laughs> We're playing Minecraft. Yay. I, I said I'll never do Minecraft Let's Play, but I lied. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? <laughs> oh, mushrooms. <laughs> what? Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. No portals. Oh, no, I wanted the... Oh, well, now I broke it. It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Uh. Ah, well, fine. Genius. <laughs> no, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through anymore. The fuck? Uh, hey. Where the hell am I? This is by far the most interesting and elaborate of endings. Uh, I'm wondering if I just kind of fall off. Alright, fine, we'll just fall off then. Okay. <laughs> I like this one. Well, we're definitely somewhere right now. Huh. Oh, this is the old Stanley Parable then, I guess. The mod version. And good old 427. That's kind of cool. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. 
Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Okay, that was a really interesting ending. 